What's going on there, guys? We're back with another one. And we have to talk about Charles Barkley as he's offered some kind words to Skip Bayless for the first time. And we know their well-documented history where Barkley has immense his words about the brand of journalism Skip Bayless presents as far as the shock jock journalism and downing players at the professional level and really just using clickbait to get all of his engagement. And Barkley has been very vocal about that. But his words about Skip, his latest commentary about Skip may surprise you. Uh, we're going to look back at some of the things that Charles has said in the past before we look at his newest comment. Let's drop that conversation because he's the best tight end. You just, hey, you right up there. Him, it's between him and Gronk. That's the best ever. He's smooth with it. Now I'm going to leave out Shannon Sharp. I want one of those jobs where I can get fired from, get a bow for working with an idiot. <laughs> Man, he, that boy Clay has a magnet to the sandbox right now. The island boy. Oh, my guy. Boy, you, think, island boy. Yeah, you think I can get a bow <laughs> from working with Shaq? <laughs> they give me these bows. You I didn't know what you, you were talking about. I, I, was, I just said if they go take give people bows, if you're working with a damn idiot, I want one of those too. <laughs> See, I was taking that personal. No, no, not you. I did find, you know, I don't do social media, so I get all my information off Bleacher Report. Uh huh. I read an article today. You read something? I did. Okay. If you work with a damn idiot, they'll buy you out. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you, I'm saying, I read Chuck, it, I Chuck, saw it. Chuck, 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 I'm just saying, I, <laughs> I, I'm telling you, Shaq, 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 it's not you, it's not you, it's not you, okay. it's not Ernie, it's Kenny. But apparently, if you work with a damn idiot, yeah. they'll buy you out. But then also the way he's just kind of been disrespecting his co-host, and you have to see Shannon kind of take a yeah. deep breath every once in a while. What is just your take on what he is doing and just how disrespectful I feel like he is to players and now his co-host as well? Openly, yeah. openly disrespectful. So I really, I don't like the guy because television is a very powerful weapon. Right. And Skip, to me, when you, these guys are real people. And I don't mind you criticizing guys. Right. It can never be personal. Right, that's it. And, it and, and one thing I hate about the media, you can tell guys they like and dislike. You can't talk about people on television like that. You have to be fair and honest with people. And I think he is, you can tell who he likes. You can tell who he dislikes, because he makes it personal. To dis Skip's disrespect toward him, I do not like it. Yeah. The way he's treating Shannon, uh, clearly, hey, Tom Brady is the GOAT. We get that. We get it. You don't have to, first of all, this dude in the Hall of Fame, he won three Super Bowls. <laughs> he was nice. He ain't chopped liver. <laughs> right. He ain't chopped liver. You, uh, uh, but he has, he's been rewarded so much. Mm -hmm. For doing that. Yeah. The way he has made his money and made his living, I have a problem with it. Because, man, if you make it to the pros, That's you're a hell of a player. So this is what Chuck said recently about Skip Bayless. I know, I'm not big on Rudy Gobert, um, but the award bothers me. Because I don't know, like it feels like Michael Jordan could have been defensive player of the year every year if he wanted to be. Like he would lock somebody down, right? Yeah. Yeah, but the, well, let's, since you're talking about pet peeves, I got one. Okay. Okay. These idiots on ESPN <laughs> every year. Why do you keep watching? I keep telling you. If you don't well, I watch, do some, I, well, dude, oh, that's your homework. I, that's my. I, I got to see what happened. Well, Skip I mean, Bayless I, isn't around anymore, so you don't have to worry about him. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for the guy. Uh, <laughs> I didn't like the guy, but I feel bad. I feel bad because. Uh, I do. I don't want bad things to happen to other people. And we saw Bayless once upon a time try to bring Chuck on Undisputed, knowing that the show was on life support with Shannon leaving. He brought in a different cast of characters. None ever panned out. And so um, he's where he, he's at today on his YouTube channel that he started around the same time Shannon Sharp started Club Shay Shay. And you could kind of see who had the audience at that point, who was bringing in the audience. It was clearly... 
all Shannon and really none skipped by the time that the two had separated. It was closer when they started. You know, it was more skip at first, but as time went on, you know, and Shannon celebrity began to grow, that's where the rift came and we saw the whole thing that happened there. But for Charles Barkley to say that about Skip Bayless, I think, you know, he that's just a part of getting older and not saying he would ever want to work with him or anything like that, but, um, you know, that's just him offering the best, I guess, kind of respect he has for Skip and what he's done in the journalistic space. Now, he's done some heinous things like that. What he put in a book about Troy Aikman, that type of stuff is something you really wouldn't want to do to a person. Um, even if you had concrete proof to go in there and put something like that as a journalist, these are the reasons why people don't like Skip Bayless. It goes far beyond just his time on television. It's a lot of the things he's done outside of the studio as well, and people view it as underhanded or trying to paint a narrative about someone that um, they don't think is fair to them to portray, especially if they didn't disclose those, that information and it just pops up in a book one day um, as allegations. Because you know when it's on a large platform like that, people take such allegations as truth. And now you have to put out a fire that you didn't start. And so that's what um, a lot of Skip's legacy is. But it'll be interesting to see if he's able to generate that kind of interest he used to have in his show um, on his platform. I think if he goes live, and talks to Cowboys fans, you know, during the games. I think that's his angle. I think people would engage. I think he would get a large audience to buy into that. But I don't think he has the team around him to alert him that that's what he should be leaning into, going live and just leaning into Cowboys more than anything else. Trying to cover all the topics, you don't have to no more. You can specialize in something where a fan base galvanizes behind you but trying to be everything still is going to be a waste of his time but yeah man that's what i think skip should do at this point um he would have thousands of people online at the same time if he just went live after cowboys games went live uh you know during their training camps and all of that come do mid-season practice talk and just be a cowboys channel i think that is where his bread will be buttered at this point. But what do I know? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Peace.